Hi there, thanks for joining me. In this video, we'll take a look at image resolution. Resolution is the amount of detail an image contains, and it can be measured in different ways. I'm going to zoom in to this image here, and if you zoom in close enough to something, you'll start to see these little squares. These squares are called pixels. You could think of them like atoms. They are the smallest um, component on a computer screen to make up an image. So uh, an image is made out of pixels, but also the little squares that actually physically make up your computer screen, if you look really close at that, those are also pixels. So um, there's, it's a little bit confusing. There's kind of two layers of pixels going on here. There's the images pixels, and then there's also the pixels that make up your screen. So the more pixels an image has, the more detail it has. And you can see on the edge of this shape here, there's a lot of pixels. And when you look at them close, they don't look so great. But when you zoom out a little bit, like so, uh, if there's enough pixels, it makes a nice smooth edge here. If we zoom out even further, it looks totally fine. So if we do something like resize our image, and we cut down the number of pixels to something really small, then what will happen is our image will get much smaller and the amount of pixels that make up the details in that image uh, are also cut down. And you can see the shapes are still here, but now they're made up of fewer pixels so that you can see less detail. So this is what's called a low resolution image. Um, it's so small that you know, you can't really do much with it. This is about as big as you can get it um, to look good. I'm going to do an undo, so I'm going to put this back how it was before I made it smaller. And you can see there are more pixels. So there's more image detail. So reduction um, reduces the amount of pixels, and that information is then gone forever. So if you try to do something like enlarge your image by adding more resolution, let's add way more pixels here, about double the amount, you can see the computer kind of guessed and it added more pixels, but it didn't necessarily make the image look better because it the computer doesn't know uh, what detail to add. It just kind of basically doubles everything and makes it bigger. So it ends up getting kind of blurry, but you know it kind of works sometimes. So now this would be what's called a high resolution image. So now you're probably wondering, well, which resolution do I want to use? Uh, for printing, what you want to do is just follow a few basic rules and don't worry about anything else. If you're going to print, print at 300 DPI. Sometimes it's known as PPI. So that's dots per inch. So that would be uh, dots of ink. So if this is an inch on a piece of paper, a 72 DPI image would be, you know, a few dots of ink here and there. Let's pretend that's 72. And then a 300 DPI image would be, of course, many, 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 many more dots. And so the detail would be increased. It would be exactly like what you're looking at here when you zoom into this. Imagine these little pixels here are just dots of ink. So the more dots there are, the better your image is going to look. And if you have some really fine details in your image, like little sharp uh, edges and lines and things, those are going to look much better if there are more pixels. Because you, as you'll see, if you start to zoom in on things, like a very, very thin line, if that line is so thin, it ends up getting kind of zigzaggy. It looks like stairs because it's made up of these finite dots that are pixels. So have to watch out for that. It's the same thing with ink too. Uh, if there's not enough dots of ink, that line isn't going to look straight anymore. Unless, of course, you're looking at it from very far away or it's printed really small. So, if you're going to work on stuff for the web, then you would want to use 72. And this is because your computer monitor uh, only has so many pixels on it physically to display an image. So if you're looking at a 300 DPI image on a 72 DPI monitor, it's just going to make the image, you know, three times bigger or so, um, which is what's happening here. Um, this 
canvas size. If this were to print right now, what we're looking at here, my canvas, it would print at 10 inches by 7 in, or 7.8 inches. Now, of course, this is clearly not 10 by 7 inches because I'm at 100% right now. What's happening is since there's 300 pixels per inch instead of 72, it's appearing roughly three, well, more than three times bigger. And if we zoom out a little bit, then we can approximate what it would look like if we were to print it. The important thing to know is that when you're choosing a canvas, um, you want to set your resolution first and then choose the height and width. And I recommend going with standard print sizes. Um, that would be based on standard frame sizes. Uh, so if you go to like a framing store, you can kind of see their um, pre-made frames that they have. They come in certain sizes like 18 by 24 and 11 by 14 and 9 by 12, 8 by 10, 4 by 6. Um, they're all about in the same proportion. So if you made an 18 by 24 inch a uh, piece of artwork and you wanted to print it at 8x10, it would still print just fine at 8x10 and you wouldn't have to crop off that much of it. And cropping would be, you know, if you had to cut off some of the edge here to make it fit. So, you know, don't be too concerned about the technical aspects of how all this stuff works. Um, if you're printing, just remember, set your resolution first, 150 or 300. Pick the amount of inches that you want your print to print at and then you'll know that this is how it's going to print. You know, of course, if you send it to a printer and tell them to print it on this size of paper, it'll print that way and it'll look great. If you're working on the web, just make sure that you keep this resolution setting at 72 and you don't want to put really big images on the web. You probably don't want to go much over like 1000 pixels or so because, you know, a computer screen is only so big and you don't want people to have to like zoom and pan around and all that stuff to be able to see your whole image. Um, but if you are going to print or you think you might want to print, then I would go ahead and use a high resolution image and then save a copy of your artwork to put it on the web at a lower resolution. Because you can have more than one uh, version of your image in different resolutions and different sizes. So keep that in mind too. Um, if you're unsure, just save a copy of your image and then you don't have to worry too much about destroying anything. Um, just to kind of further clarify what's happening here um, from a technical point of view, I'm going to make a canvas here. This canvas, and this is to help you understand how this resolution works uh, with the inches and pixels and everything. Um, it's going to be 20 pixels per inch in resolution. So for every inch in this image, there's going to be exactly 20 pixels. And I'm going to make this image one inch by one inch. So it's going to be basically 20 pixels wide by 20 pixels tall. So I go to OK, and we get this really tiny one inch image. If we were to print this, this would be a one inch square that would print. And on that square, there's nothing now, but we'll add some blue paint here. And I'll try to vary it a little bit so we can see some detail. I can't zoom in any further than this unfortunately, but if we look very carefully we can see there are indeed exactly 20 pixels across and there are 20 pixels tall. So if we go to resize our canvas now we can see we've got 20 pixels by 20 pixels at a resolution of 20 pixels per inch. If we look at inches, we're seeing that we have a one inch canvas. So you can see how these, all of these numbers affect each other. They affect each other in print and in display on your computer. And those are two different worlds. Okay. When you, when you print, this is what it's going to be, whatever, whatever it says here in your width and height, that's how it's going to print. You can of course print larger or smaller if you want to, but you know, it's it, the, we're talking here about your intended print size. Um, if we change our resolution now up to, uh, let's say, 200 pixels per inch, we go to OK. It's resized now, and now for every inch, there are now, we're not going to count them here, but there are 200 pixels that go all the way across. Now, 
if we do a before and an after, we can see it turned this bunch of just square nonsense into this. And the computer kind of guessed here and just, you know, made some stuff. It looks, it's actually kind of interesting what results it came up with. Um, if we look at our resolution here, again, since we increased the resolution to 200 pixels per inch, um, it increased the number of pixels, of course, and if we look at inches, that didn't change because uh, this is our intended print size, so we want this image to be uh, one inch by one inch. So even though we can zoom into it um, and we can see all this extra detail, if we were to print it, um, it would it would print still at one inch by one inch. You know, it'd be something tiny like this. There would just be much more detail. Versus before, if we were to print it, it would come out very very blocky. If we were to print it at a resolution of 20 pixels per inch, which is what it was set to. So I hope this helps to answer some of your questions about resolution. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to comment on this video and I'll get back to you. Uh, if you found this information useful, uh, take a minute to uh, share the video or like it on YouTube and that'll make it easier for other artists out there to find this information. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next video.